you would, it's uh, five o'clock, so we'll start our work session. I want to welcome everybody here tonight. Appreciate you coming out for our uh, October the 25th City Council meeting and our work session. Uh, first, we'll call the roll. Okay. Mr. Seibert? Here. Mr. Wales? Here. Mrs. Henry? Here. Mr. Travis? Here. And Mr. Harper? Here. All five present. Okay. Uh, we don't have any public hearings tonight. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's been a while so, since we have not you know. had a public hearing, but uh, we don't have any tonight. Uh, we'll go into our consent calendar. Uh, a is a resolution to approve a restaurant liquor license for uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, and that is just for a change of ownership. B is a resolution to approve a purchase of iP eight iPads and protective cases for the fire department. It's my understanding that that's in the budget. It is. And C is a resolution to approve the purchase of a John Deere excavator for the gas department, and that also is in the budget. Yeah. D is a resolution to you set a public hearing for the regular meeting at on November the 8th, 2021, to re review the requests of Kenneth Winter Jr. and Shanna Winter to annex 4.6 acres of property at 16487 Oakdale Road and zone property to an estate, residential, and agricultural district. Uh, e is a resolution to set a public hearing for the regular meeting on uh, November the 8th to review the request of Danville, I'm not sure that's how you pronounce that, to rezone 3.2 acres located in the northwest corner of Nick Davis Road and Oakdale Road uh, at 16771 Oakdale Road from R11 low density single residential to a B1 neighborhood business district within the corporate limits of the city. F is a resolution for public hearing for the regular meeting on November the 8th to review the request of Lindsay Properties to rezone 12 acres located at 214 Sanford Road from an R13 high density single family residential to an R2 multiple family residential district. And that's located on the west side of South Jefferson Street, approximately 1,000 feet north of Sanderford Road. And G is a resolution to set a public hearing for the regular meeting at, uh, on November the 8th to review the request of Gordon and Linda Swint to rezone 29.8 acres from an R13 high density single family residential to an R15 single family townhouse attached residential. And that is located approximately a third of the mile north of the intersection of Athens Limestone Boulevard and US Highway 72. Is there any questions about any of that or any comments? Who will take our consent calendar? Christopher. I could do that. Mr. Fiber. We'll go into our regular meeting uh, or the agenda for the re for a regular meeting is uh, Resolution to accept the bid of Grayson Carter and Son contracting is for an ALDOT project at Elm Street and Wilkerson Street. And it, it authorizes the mayor to enter into a con construction contact with the Grayson Carter and Sons. Who would, are there any I'll questions take, on I'll, it? I'll take it. Mr. Wells, we'll it, need to suspend the rules on that one. Can I, can I just make a comment about this? And I'm, I'm not trying to be difficult at all. And I understand this is Alabama, uh, uh, the Department of Transportation that's, that's spearheading this, but I sincerely will be ill 
if we take on these projects, um, even on these side streets, and not take care of Bridgeforth, Miller, Plato Jones, and Browns Ferry. I understand it's maybe apples and oranges, that's all well and good, but it's still just not fair that, that to have these streets still left unattended, you know, from a, from a perspective of getting, um, getting serviced. And, and Mr. Harper and I got an email from um, Ms. Christy Gill about the, 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 the if, if anybody's traveled down Browns Ferry and get to Houston Street, right before you get, you know, turn, it's like a five, a three or four way turn you can go. That, that, that is a mess. It is absolutely a mess. And to, you know, uh, it, and it's really no excuse for that. So I, I understand that we got these projects and you have to put them in line and stuff, but I mean, I, I don't know what it's gonna take for us to go ahead and just take care of the streets that we already have been, the money's been approved and everything's been approved, and yet we don't ever be able to get these things taken care of. It's, it looks bad, it sounds bad, and it should not be the case. Anyone else? Mr. Griffin, would you like to? Just give an update. Uh, we met with the contractors today. They should begin paving tomorrow. Acorn, Plato, Bridgeforth. Um, Dolph has met with them too, and I think he's going to try to see if they can grab uh, Browns Ferry at the same time while we have them here and hold them here. And they will be starting tomorrow. Uh, they got held off today due to the rain. Okay. And, and again, I apologize to bring it up, but nobody tells me anything. Yes, sir. So the only time I find out, I have to find this out on my own. We found it, out today ourselves. Well, so. uh, okay, I understand. But, you know, a lot of things happen, and, I, and I'm left out in the dark. And then when I get questioned about these things, I don't have an appropriate answer. So as, if these things are moving along and that dates are being set, I, I would think if you just give me the courtesy to let me know what the date is and what the update is, then I could give that information away and we won't have to have these kind of uh, uh, interludes in the meeting. Thank you. Yes, sir. Right. Who will uh, suspend the rules on that? Ms. Henry? I is a resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Morrell Engineering for the construction, engineering, and inspection on that ALDOT project at Elm Street and Wilkerson Street. Who will take that one? I'll, I'll take it. Mr. Wales. And we need to suspend the rules on this one, too. I can do that. Mr. So Mr. Seibert will do that. J is a resolution to amend the uh, resolution number 21-1757 to replace the word Tenneco with Federal Mogul Power LLC, doing business as Tenneco, and uh, that the mayor is authorized to enter into an agreement, an amendment to the agreement which uh, we passed a little while back. It's my understanding that's just a change at one word. It is. Okay. Thank you. Who would take that? I'll take it. Mr. Travis. K is a resolution to adopt a new organizational chart for the gas department. Any questions on this? I think we covered this position in our budget hearings. Who will... Uh, Take that one. Mrs. Henry. <clears throat> L is resolution to adopt that job description of the building maintenance technician. This is uh, the same job. Who would take that one, L? That's L? L. I'll take it. Mr. Wells. And M is an ordinance to amend the ordinance number 888 to add that job title of a building maintenance technician to our organizational charts. Who would take that? I'll take it. Is there any discussion on any of these? Okay. Yeah. Mr. Uh, Mr. Travis is going to take that. We will need to suspend the rules. I can do that. Mr. Cyber. And as a resolution to appoint the president of the city council for the term of November 
through November of 21 through October of 22. And that should be 22. Sir? Yeah, you've got the correct Yeah, okay, good. It's got a typo here. Who will take that? I'll take it. Mr. Wales. And there was a resolution to appoint the president pro tem for from November of 21 to October of 22. I'll take that. Mr. Travis. Okay, and that's all we have on the regular agenda. And Mr. Mayor, am I correct? Well, you might need to. Can, can I ask a question? I didn't. I, I didn't. I should have asked it a few minutes ago. I guess I'll ask our attorney this. On changing the name at Tenneco, yes, we've got a tax abatement out there that's out, that's outstanding. Will this have any effect on that? It won't have any substantive effect on the numbers. They'll be exactly the same. It's just simply a matter of changing the name by which the entity they they've recently reorganized and changed their name, and this just catches this agreement up to it. It was at their request. Okay. Yes, sir. but no, it doesn't have any impact on the amount of the abatement. There's no difference as to that. Council's already done. Okay. And Mr. Harper, I'd request that we have about a five minute executive session and our city attorney can uh, document the need for that. All right, sir, if you will. Yes, sir. This uh, executive session will be with respect to real property and consideration need to be accepted uh, or, or not with respect to the sale or purchase of real property. And it'll be short. I don't anticipate a vote after that, but we'll, if you will. Well, thank you. Uh, we will take a short executive session we'll be back shortly yeah do a motion for that we'll need a motion in a second a, need a resolution we'll make motion. A motion. second move and second we go into executive session with Colorado. okay mr wales mr cyber yes mrs henry yes. mr travis yes. mr harper yes five yes we'll be brief
Mr. Seibert? Here. Mr. Wales? Here. Mrs. Henry? Here. Mr. Travis? Here. And Mr. Harper? Here. All five present. Okay, if you would, please stand for our invitation, and I, I will do that. And we might standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Thank you, Thank Mr. You. Mayor. Uh, Mr. Seibert. I don't have anything, Mr. President. Well, I skipped our attorney. Anything, Mr. Black? No, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Wales. I don't have anything either, Mr. President. Mr. Travis? I got a couple of things, and I'm not, again, I guess it's just my data <laughs> to bring things up. I, I got a call this morning that said that the county is getting ready to vote on their redistrict, redistricting for Limestone County, and that's going to be on November the 1st. And I was asked, did I know anything about it, which I did not. And then uh, they asked me about the city's redistricting, and I haven't heard anything about that either. So I just want to go on record as saying, you know, uh, redistricting is supposed to be something that every citizen has an input into. And so before we're handed something that says, hey, how about this? We need to make sure that all interested people have a voice in the redistricting. And, 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 and simply just to explain, whatever, the, whatever map is drawn, why it was drawn, how it was drawn, and, and why it is in the shape it is. But I think everybody, especially in the city, needs to have a, uh, that wants to, should have a voice in that. And the other thing that I mentioned before is, I know we're getting ready to do, look at uh, budgets for the nonprofit organizations, and I haven't heard a word about that. Last year, I was getting a piece of paper that says, listen, this is what we came up with. Will you sign off on it? I'm not doing that this year, so we need to make sure that we are talking about the bu budgets for nonprofit. I want to see what the requests are, what the needs are, et cetera. I need to be a part of that, and if I'm not, then I will not be supporting it. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just stress redistricting real quickly. <clears throat> We have time to address that, and I can assure you there won't be any maps drawn by anybody unless we put them in front of you guys to draw them. And it's important, but we have changed our population for sure, and uh, the nonprofit organizations, Annette and I will be presenting that to you guys, and, and you'll have an opportunity to look at it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, we'll try to close out the end of the year. Uh, this last fiscal year, hopefully by early December, and give you an update on that. Do we have a deadline on that, Mr. Black? Or uh... you have to act. You have to act in, within a reasonable amount of time after you've got the new information. Okay. Okay, Mrs. Henry. Uh, yes. Um, if you haven't had the chance to visit the new library garden. Please do, it's now open. And uh, we've actually had uh, our first group of fourth graders do a field trip there from Lindsay Lane Christian Academy. And the teachers were very excited with the idea of what could be offered there. There are plans to expand, there are opportunities to get involved. And I was just asked by the library and its foundation to give a little plug for the library. It's a great place to go and hang out. And thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. And I don't have anything tonight. Mr. Just Harper, can I, Bobby, I yes, apologize sure. for passing this by, but we've been working on a great project for way too long. But uh, Earl's here tonight, and I'd like for him, to, if he would, to give us an update on where we are with Jimmy Gill Park. Yes. They've got the paving done. The pavilion is awesome. And uh, I know that we I've been out there several times, but Earl, if you can, Give us I apologize. I Thank you. I now, knew you were here. It's okay. No problem. Uh, the park is about 90% complete. We've had two, two pretty good delays to getting material, uh, beadboard siding. Uh, we were two months delayed getting siding. And then once we got the siding, we were delayed about a month uh, getting paint. If you know anything about construction, there's been a delay in a lot of things in the construction field. The sewer line is in. Uh, the pump station is supposed to be delivered Thursday, so we'll all the plumbing set except for the pump station. Hopefully, we'll have that in operation by middle of next week. Uh, playground equipment. I talked to Bert. Uh, that was supposed to be delivered last week. However, there's, there's a big delay in that. Uh, they're telling us now that the playground equipment may not be here till mid-December. Uh, with the holidays, I expect we won't get it to after the first of the year. Uh, that's what I'm anticipating. Uh, the, play, the park parking lot has been uh, paved. Uh, we like a little bit of concrete work. Uh, Dolph said that we should be able to get that within the next two to three weeks, depending on the weather. So hopefully we're, we're almost to the point where we can turn that loose and, and let people start using it. Uh, 
I know they shut down the parks during the winter, so maybe we can have some kind of grand opening out there uh, pretty soon. Uh, anybody have any questions about it? No, I just wanted to let you know that we'll, what about us giving you just a brief update at every city council meeting to about the playground equipment? We ordered, it's not like we didn't order it. It's been on order like six months and it's okay. just amazing the slowdown of equipment and supplies. And mm -hmm. uh, as soon as it gets in, I promise you, we won't hold it. Well, I'd like to compliment you on the, the work that's been done out there. It really looks good. And, well, uh, the street department and, and a couple of my guys in my department, they've done a, a majority <coughs> of the work. We didn't do the paving, but they did all the concrete work and we did all the building. And uh, those guys have really put their heart and soul into it. And they well, be sure you. Us. Be sure you let them know we appreciate okay, it. Thanks. Yeah. Right. Thanks, Earl. Okay. That's all, Mr. Harper. I'm sorry. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah. Uh, we don't have any public hearings tonight. We're going to the reading of petitions, applications, complaints, appeals. So if you would like to come up and address the council, come on up. When you do, give your name and address to uh, Ms. Barnes, our city clerk. If you wear a mask, please take it off while you're speaking. Speak into the uh, microphone, and we will hold this to three minutes each. Chuck Bradley, 24943, Queen Anne's Lace, Athens, Alabama, 35613. I have an article from Decatur Daily published September 29, 2021 by Erica Davis. Erica Smith, I'm sorry. A traffic study has been done and funding has been approved to make safety changes to U.S. Highway 72 and Cambridge Lane intersection, said Matt Davison, Athens planner. Plans are currently being designed, he said. According to Davison, these traffic changes must be made now that the rezoning has been approved. The, the Alabama Department of Transportation plans to start work on the intersection sometime in physical 2022. Mr. Davison told me on October the 8th, 2021, when he gave me the link to the traffic impact study, Cambridge Lane Development, Athens, Alabama, dated 9-1-2021, that he did not tell Mrs. Smith that ALDOT would start working in physical 2022. Mr. Davidson, when did you get your copy of the study? Mr. Davidson, when did you get a copy of the study? I hope it was the exact date for the rezoning. Was it before the, uh, was it before the, uh, September 27th council meeting when they voted on rezoning the land. Mr. Bradley, I, I, you probably don't know this, but there's been a lawsuit filed involving that rezoning uh, issue out there. And you're free to make any comments you want to, but the council and the city employees will not be answering any questions or making any comments. Well, I was told that I can ask these staff directly and they have to answer me. They can't stand up and say anything until they're asked. Okay, no, Mayor, sir, when, I, did, you get, when did you have your study? Uh, I don't know the data. Okay. This uh, is under litigation and okay. we, we are not gonna be able oh, to so discuss it. I can't it. talk? I can't you, have, yes, sir, you okay. can talk. I'm just on saying 8th, you can't ask any questions, okay? okay? On October 8th, 2021, between 9.15 and 9.30, with you, Mr. Mayor, myself, and Ms. Johnson in the hallway in front of your secretary's office, you, you told me you had seen and read the study. Okay. You admit to reading it, haven't you? If Why I did... told you that, Chuck, that's what I meant. Okay. I didn't make Don't... stuff up. That's right. Why didn't y'all bring it out before y'all voted? Taz Morrell said y'all would have the study before y'all voted. Sir, we're not going to answer any questions. It's litigation. Thank you. Anyone else like to uh, address the council? <clears throat> Give your name and address, please. My name is Zach Trotter. I live at 1410 Tower Street in Athens. I'm thankful for this opportunity to speak to the council. My wife, Kathy, is right behind me back here. We bought a house on Tower Street in 2008. And we have some good neighbors and we have some disrespectful neighbors. We have neighbors that are on a fixed income. And right now they are very concerned about losing their home because it's been up for auction recently. 
they are very concerned and they do not want to move from their location. And that's one of the reasons I'm here tonight. I mow their grass for them because they are on a fixed income, not for money, but because I want to help. I have seen the Athens police several times on our street. We need help on Tower Street. We need friendly, respectful neighbors on Tower Street. One of our city council members is here tonight, and I'm so thankful that Dana, you have been elected to the city council, and I'm so thankful that you are here, that you will listen to us and have the courage to hear us. That's it. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? Mr. Malone, come on. David Malone, 1300 Summers Drive here in the city. First, I'd like to start, I'd like to mention a couple of things like uh, division, battalion, squad, company, and things like that. And I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about when I said that. And the reason I said that is that I've been coming up here for several years, but the council can't, seems to work good when it comes to bringing things into the city of Athens, <coughs> excuse me, bringing things into the city of Athens, but you don't seem to work together when it comes to taking care of the city itself. The reason I say this, uh, you're supposed to work as one unit. Uh, it seems as if some of the council persons will say, well, I'm not worried about that district, mine's okay. But that's not the way it's supposed to be. You are city councilman. You are elected by your district, but you are city councilman. So anything in the, in the city should be your concern. Just because everything is rose in your district, don't just look over at the other person and say, hey, he got a problem in his district. I'm not even worried about it. But I've been coming up here for a long time and seemed like you're not working together when it comes to taking care of the citizens of this town. You're working okay, bringing things in, businesses and things like that, but you're not taking care of us like you should. You're falling way behind on that. And if you're gonna be a unit that's gonna help the city, you gotta work together. You gotta be as concerned about the other district as you are about your district. And that's, I'm seeing, that's not happening here. And I, it's the first time I've seen it in many years, but. You're not working together, and you should work together for the betterment of the city, not an individual area. So that's all I got to say, but you, you, you need to come together and take care of all of us, not just some of us. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Malone, but it's been my experience working with these and other council members that we've had in the past and that I, I think we're getting along really well. But, okay. Well, thank you. Mr. Diggins. I'm Ralph Diggins, 100 Willow Street in Athens. What, what, I've, I've got a basic question. You see on the news all the time about the increasing cost of natural gas and electricity and all the rest of that kind of thing. What I'd like to know is, can the citizens of Athens expect any kind of a significant increase in their utility bill based upon what's happening in the economy? Now, I know Steve and that whole bunch do a real good job, and I'm sure he's got a handle on it. But I just think that we all deserve to go, particularly my wife, right? Because she looks, she pays all the bills. And uh, so we can see what, see what the impact is on the city. Yes. Uh, Mr. Carter. Could you kind of address that? I know uh, it's in the news a lot that, that oil and gas prices are going up. So.
Thank you. So, does that answer your question? Yeah. Well, we're, I can speak for the council. We, we understand that's a major uh, cost to our citizens, and I can assure you, I think I speak for everyone, and we're, we're going to keep it as close as we can to no. what well, it is I, now. I'm, I have spoken to Mr. Carter in the past about these kinds of things, and, and he's, he does a wonderful job of managing it. From looking forward, and for, you know, we just that was a general question that I, you know, my wife asked me. I walk every day. My neighbors ask, "Do well, you think it's going to go up?" And and that's that's why I'm here for that. Yeah. But Carter and that much do a good job. I ain't squeaking at all this time. Okay. We appreciate <laughs> it, and we we all think he does a good job. Thank you. Anyone else? I'm going to change the way I talk to y'all tonight instead of doing my Baptist preacher going back and forth, okay? <laughs> I want to talk about decency, respect, and obscenity. The wife said, why are you doing this? This is really ironic. To hear you in the driveway cussing your leaf blower the other day, and you're going to talk about decency, but I am. I wasn't doing it out in public. I wasn't doing it in front of school children that drive by four times a day, four buses a day, twice a day, excuse me. I'm here about the banners. I don't want to give them any, any press. They don't need press. I've got some questions. The first one I'm going to answer, what is obscenity? Everybody's got their own definition. It may not be the same for Chris. It may not be the same for me. According to the wife, it's not. But that's okay. Everybody's got their own, their own idea and the definition. Does the city have the right and the obligation to protect our citizens and our children from obscene material on the roadways even though it's on private property. First Amendment rights, right? Mr. Wells, you live in Canebrake. Yep. Can you put a political sign in your yard? I cannot. Why? That's against the HOA rules out there. Huh. That's amazing. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Are the banners protected and are the city's hands really tied? We got in touch with A.G. Marshall. Has he got back with us? Some of these citizens probably know, don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm not going to, they, they, they can find out for themselves. Has A.G. got back with us, please? Steve Marshall got back with us? Didn't we contact him? Okay. Yes, I, I would like, Mr. Black, since that's a legal question, I'm going to. Defer to Mr. Black. I'm not aware of From the AG's office, no, okay. sir. Well, he's he's got a. If there's not a camera there, he's not going to. He's not going to. You know, he's not going to really. In my opinion, that's just my opinion. All right. Just a few more questions. Has anybody in the city contacted the people that rent the house? Yes. Yes. Okay. What did they say to you? Got nowhere. Got nowhere. Got nowhere, as in because and the answer. Basically, the answer uh, this I is got, free speech, okay. uh, and get out of my yard. No, I mean the people that own the house. I did. I sat down and wrote a letter, and and you know, I think you know it's from out of state. I mailed the letter. I believe it was Thursday, and I asked him just please get back with me, even if it was not the answer. I was. To I told. I went in. And I tried to be as nice as I could. Uh, I told them how vulgar it, it was to me, my wife, my children, and other children that pass there many times a day. I told him, I spelled out the words for him to where he would know. I even took a picture with my phone and emailed it with it. So I wanted to make sure that he got the gist of it, both signs, both flags. I have heard nothing yet. Of course, with the mail the way it is, he probably have not even got it yet. But I'm expecting a a return. Okay, I appreciate that. 
somebody's phone's up here. I don't know if that's connected with anything. Um, one more question. No, two more questions. Just to let you all know, I texted both the phone numbers. One of them got back with me and said, our people taking care of the rental thing are going to look into this. So I got a response. They wouldn't answer my phone. Right. This is near and dear. It ought to be near and dear to everybody's heart. This is very wrong. If I stood out in my yard and I railed at the world, they'd come arrest me as being crazy just like that. If I put a sign in my yard, they can't do nothing, can't do a thing. Can't do a thing, it's amazing. All right, have we responded and asked any other towns, any other cities, do you have this problem and what are you all doing about it? Did we go to anybody else? Yes, I've contacted two cities. I contacted the city of Decatur and the city of Madison. Okay. They both have had similar problems. I asked them what they done about it, and they said, well, fortunately for us, in both cases, we went out to talk with them, and the sign came down. But that doesn't mean that we've got a law that says you got to take it down. But right. they said, we sympathize with you because we know <laughs> in other parts of the state it's the same sign that you got, same flags you got there in Athens. It is a pitiful fad, and that's too bad. I don't care who it's about, respect and de decency. This is a good town, and we can't allow that to just sit there like that. It's like a festering sore. It's like a festering sore. Kelly, if one that more, same flag, if that same question. flag was on the courthouse square, this whole county would be in an uproar. It would not be allowed to stand. And I'm with you, man. I, I'm it. All right. Ignoring it's not going to let it go away. We all know that. No. No. So you either push the issue or let the man just have his way. He has a six to eight year old child that he picks up every day on the bus there at the, at the crosswalk. That's right. And takes that child up to that up to that house with that with that flag hanging there. Let's see if we can't come up with something. If we have to do something and then be sued, let him try and sponsor a lawyer. We got to do something. In my opinion, I want to thank you all. I think you all are doing a good job. Thank you, Mr. Ranger. Okay. Uh, anyone else? <clears throat> uh, my name is George Locke, and, uh, and I am a uh, landowner down there on uh, East Train Road, and they got to finish put a project down there. And I'm just trying back here again and trying to find out what is this a project, and what and will the landowner be n notified before they start? Yeah. <clears throat> and George, I got a map that I have not got to you, and I apologize. I'll get that. Well, the, the, I was told it was a sewer, but uh, is it going to be a sewer? Yes. It's officially, it's going to be a sewer, right? Where, that's where the sewer line is. Oh, oh okay. So, so when is it supposed to start, you know? The reason I, why I'm asking that question is because I got about uh, 15 or 20 trees going to be taken out. It's going to be taken on. They gonna, I'm going to have to give it. You all going to take out. Have they already contacted you about that? Uh, no, ain't nobody talking about it. Okay. Well, then. You're not going to take trees out. No, no, I am, I'm not going to take them out. I'm not sure. Uh, let, let me get you a meeting with the sewer pipe guy. We've taken all the trees out that I'm aware of being taken out. And if nobody's talked to you about your private property and taking trees out, there's not any plans to take them out. Let me get you a meeting well, with the sewer Well, I'm going to take them out because the line is past the trees. And I figure from there. I'm saying what what's going on and everything. It, yeah, let, but, let me let me please get you a meeting with the sewer department people and the engineer that is outlined there. Okay. Because if I were to sit in here and tell you, and it'd be off by one second, then, then let me just get a meeting with you. Okay. 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 I yeah. Thank you. 
Anyone else? Not we'll go into our uh, regular calendar. First is our consent calendar, <clears throat> Mr. Cyber. Item A is a resolution to approve a restaurant retail liquor alcohol license to Athens Opco. This is a change of ownership for Buffalo Wild Wings. Item B is a resolution to approve the purchase of eight iPads and protective cases for the fire department. Item C is a resolution to approve the purchase of a 2021 John Deere excavator from Warrior Tractor and Equipment for the gas department. Item D is a resolution to set a public hearing for the regular meeting at 5.30 on November 8, 2021 to review the request of Kenneth J. Winter and Shauna C. Winter to annex 4.6 acres of property located at 16487 Oakdale Road and zone property into an estate residential and agricultural district within the corporate limits of the city of Athens. Item E is a resolution to set a public hearing for the regular meeting at 5.30 on November 8, 2021 to review the request of Donville to rezone uh, 3.2 acres located on the northwest corner of Nick Davis Road in Oakdale at 16771 Oakdale Road from R11 to B1 within the corporate limits of the city of Athens. Item F is a resolution to set a public hearing for the regular meeting at 5.30 p.m. on November 8, 2021 to review the request of Lindsay Properties to rezone 12 acres located at 214 Sandifer Road from R13 to R2 located on the west side of South Jefferson Street, approximately 1,000 feet north of Sandifer, within the corporate limits of the city of Athens. And item G is a resolution to set a public hearing for the regular meeting at 5.30 on November 8, 2021, to review the request of Gordon A. and Linda K. Swint to rezone 29.8 acres from R13 to R15, located approximately a third mile north of the intersection of Athens Limestone Boulevard and U.S. Highway 72 within the corporate limits of the city of Athens. Do we need a second? Second. second by Mr. Wales. Is there any discussion on any of this? Call the roll, please. Mr. Seibert? Yes. Mr. Wales? Yes. Mrs. Henry? Yes. Mr. Travis? Yes. Mr. Harper? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. Okay, uh, we're going to our regular agenda. H, uh, Mr. Wells. Mr. President, now therefore be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Athens, Alabama, that the City of Athens hereby accept the bid received from Grayson Carter and Son Contracting for an ALDOT project for Elm Street, SR 99, and Wilkerson Street intersection improvement, and hereby authorizes the mayor to enter into a construction contract with Grayson Carter and Sons Contracting Incorporated in the amount of $723,349.68 to complete the construction for the above mentioned project. We need to suspend the rules, Ms. Henry. I move to suspend the rules. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Seibert. Call the roll, please. Okay. Mrs. Henry? Yes. Mr. Seibert? Yes. Mr. Wales? Yes. Mr. Travis? Yes. And Mr. Harper? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. Ne next is... Uh, we need a oh. second to the oh, resolution. I'm sorry. I'll yeah. Second. Mm. second by Mr. Seibert. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Wales? Yes. Mr. Seibert? Yes. Mrs. Henry? Yes. Mr. Travis? Yes. And Mr. Harper? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. Okay, now I, Mr. Wells. Uh, I, Mr. President, be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Athens, Alabama, that the City of Athens hereby authorizes the mayor to enter into agreement with Morrell Engineering Incorporated in the amount of $72,350.32 for the construction, engineering, and inspection, CE, and I of ALDOT project and a number Elm Street SR 99 and Wilkerson Street intersection improvements. Need to suspend the rules. Make, make a motion to suspend the rules. Need a second. Second. Second by Ms. Henry. Call the roll, please. Mr. Seibert? Yes. Mrs. Henry? Yes. Mr. Wales? Yes. Mr. Travis? Yes. Mr. Harper? Yes. Five yeas, Need a zero second nays. for the resolution. I second it. Second by Mr. Travis. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Wales? 
Yes. Mr. Travis? Yes. Mr. Seibert? Yes. Mrs. Henry? Yes. Mr. Harper? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. Jay, uh, is a resolution to amend uh, 21-1757, Mr. Travis. It's being resolved by the City Council of the City of Athens, Alabama on October the 25th, 2021, 5.30 p.m. The resolution is hereby amended to replace the word Tenneco with Federal Mogul Power, LLC, and that the mayor is authorized to enter to the uh, uh, amendment of the agreement, which makes the same replacement. Okay, need a second. Second. Second by Mr. Seibert. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. Okay. Mr. Travis? Yes. Mr. Seibert? Yes. Mr. Wales? Yes. Mrs. Henry? Yes. Mr. Harper? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. J is a resolution to adopt a new organizational chart for the gas department, Mrs. Henry. Be it resolved by the City Council of Athens, Alabama to adopt the attached organizational chart for the gas department, which includes <clears throat> the following 36 regular status positions and two part-time positions. A second. Second by Mr. Travis. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. Mrs. Henry? Yes. Mr. Travis? Yes. Mr. Seibert? Yes. Mr. Wales? Yes. Mr. Harper? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. <clears throat> Uh, L is a resolution to adopt a job description. Uh, Mr. Wales. Mr. President, be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Alabama, Alabama to adopt a following job description for the gas department, the building maintenance technician, grade six. Job description will be dated 10 1. Uh, job title will be a building maintenance technician, grade six. Thank you. Need a second? Second. Second by Mr. Seibert. Any discussion? Call the roll. Okay. Mr. Wales? Yes. Mr. Seibert? Yes. Mrs. Henry? Yes. Mr. Travis? Yes. Mr. Harper? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. Okay. M is an ordinance to amend ordinance number 888 to add the job title. Mr. Travis? They're being ordained by the City Council of the City of Athens, Alabama, that the ordinance number 888 establishing the classification list for classified employees is hereby amended as the as of the following date, 10 19, 2021. And suspend the rules, Mr. Schreiber. I make a motion to suspend the rules. Mr. Wales. Call the roll, please. Mr. Seibert? Yes. Mr. Wales? Yes. Mrs. Henry? Yes. Mr. Travis? Yes. Mr. Harper. Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. And as a resolution to appoint the president oh, of the city council. We need a council. second, second on the oh, yeah. ordinance. Uh, a second. <laughs> Any discussion? Okay. Call the roll. Okay. Mr. Travis. Yes. yes. Mr. Seibert. Yes. Mr. Wales. Yes. Mrs. Henry. Yes. Mr. Harper. Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. And as a resolution to appoint the president of the city council for term from November of 21 through October of 22. Mr. Wales. Mr. President, be resolved by the City Council of the City of Athens, Alabama, as following. Chris Seibert is hereby elected as President of the City Council for a term of November 2021, November the 8th, to October the 31st, 2022. Need a second. A second. Second by Mr. Travis. Call the roll, please. Mr. Wales? Yes. Mr. Travis? Yes. Mr. Seibert? Yes. Mrs. Henry? Yes. Mr. Harper? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. O is a resolution to appoint the president pro tem of the city council. Mr. Travis? Be it resolved by the city council of the city of Athens, Alabama, as follows. Uh, point Harold Wells is hereby elected as president pro tem of the city council for a term of November the 8th, 2021 through October 31st, 2022. Okay. A second. Second. Second by Mrs. Henry. Call the roll, please. Mr. Travis? Yes. Mrs. Henry? Yes. Mr. Seibert? Yes. Mr. Wales? Yes. And Mr. Harper? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. All right. That concludes our regular agenda. Does anyone have anything else? I just want to say I've been enjoyed this last year as the president. And, uh, I look forward to having somebody else take it. For I know that's right. Well, you did a great job, uh, Councilman Harper. Well, I get a little confused sometimes, but uh, I know. Done a good job, Mr. President. But Mr. Seibert and uh, Mr. Wells both have done it before, and they both do an excellent job, and I will cooperate any way I can. Thank you.
Okay, is there anything else? Then I will adjourn this meeting. Dolph, can I see you a second, please? <laughs>